Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be fitting 20 spotlights in this apartment and I'm going to show you exactly how we do it, what it looks like before and what it looks like after. This is the after, which I think looks amazing, beautiful, no holes in the ceiling, nothing. A few little marks that you might have to touch up, which is normal, but it looks perfect. In there, we've got some in the hallway, bedroom. So here's what we're going to do. Hallway, we've already got lights. We've got three there and one there. We're just going to take them off, replace them for spotlights, quick and easy. Bedrooms as well, we've got the three lights there, three lights there, take them off, spotlight, done. Living room, we're going to add two more here. Take them off, spotlights, two more here. Take those two off, two more somewhere here, spotlights. Replace that for a free gang okay, We're gonna add one spotlight there, one spotlight there, controlled by PIR, so PIR is built into the spotlight. Gonna add it right there, there's nothing there. But there is a socket there, so we're gonna get a few spur from there, somewhere up here on the other side. So it's gonna be in here. Hopefully we don't have to make any holes on the, on the wall. So we're gonna get a few spur there, from there, Run to there, and then to okay, there. We're also gonna add a spotlight. I believe this is part of the ring. I need to test and see. So if it is, we'll get a few spur from there. Um, and run the cable going up the wall. Hopefully we'll be able to run it through and then come out, put the spotlight somewhere. Here. These are the spotlights we're gonna fit. The Auroras with replaceable LED GU10s. I prefer these over the integrated because if the integrated ones fail, then you have to get an electrician out to replace them. These. Take out the bolt and just put a new one in. And they're all LEDs in the So I've got Callum here, we're gonna remove the light, make the hole, put the spotlight in, and I'll show you how it's all done. We've encountered our first issue, but we'll get through it. We've got a metal stud right there and a piece of wood, so now we've just got to drill through that. It'll take time, but we can get through it. So here's the spotlight all ready to go in the ceiling. That's how we do the connections. We do it properly in there and no double insulation. I mean, no single insulation sticking out. So once you close it, that's all you see. The hallway and bedroom's done. It looks really nice. So there's the hallway. Uh, yeah, I think that looks so much better than having lights hanging down. And here's the bedroom. We've got a dimmer in the bedroom. So I'll show it working. So it goes up. Once it's all the way up, it's really, really bright. And then you can go all the way down low. Now it's time for the living room. So if you remember, we've got four lights in here. One, two, three, and four. We're gonna get uh, four more spotlights. One here, one on the, copy onto this side, one more down there, copy over to that side. So we're gonna get the middle from this light, from this light to that light, one there. Same distance between those two, we're gonna move it to get one other one there. And we've just measured that for this one, and it looks like it's gonna be almost right bang in the middle of the window, which is perfect, even better. All the holes are in, all the cables are in, so now it's ready to connect the lights. We'll have to leave a bit, of, quite a lot of extra cables just in case things want to get moved around, so they can, they can or if anything goes wrong. So we've got one light done, seven more to do. Then we're going to do the dimmer, which goes right there. And yeah, so in three, two, one. And there we are, all the lights in the living room now done. We've got eight lights. I think it looks really, really good. And now 
we've got to change that dimmer. What we're going to do is we're going to disconnect it, cut it with a multi-tool, make it a bit bigger because the three gang dimmers, it uses a two gang plate. Put a new bath box in, put it back on, and then the living room is done. I'm going to change those bulbs over there to cool white because they're currently warm we white. We started on the wardrobe lights and they're coming really well. So we've got the one, we made the hole there, the spotlight. We've, we've connected that one already. We're going to put a GU10, same spotlight as the other ones, with a GU10 fitting, but the GU10 is going to have a built-in PIR sensor. I haven't got it with me at the moment, but we're going to come back and fit a GU10 bulb with a built-in PIR sensor there. And then another one there. All job lights are done and they look really good. So, fuse blower is there, and that supplies the light which is there. Two access panels, which looks doesn't even look too bad i need to fit a gu10 with a built-in pir there and another gu10 with a built-in pir there originally i was going to use a light with a built-in pir and built-in leds but like i said before i don't like to use them because at the end of these fail we need to call in an electrician every time so we're going to go for the replaceable gu10s and if they fail customer can replace them dimmer is done and i think dimmers are very very important for the living room because that way you can have a really, really low light when you just want that little bit of a dim to it. You have a really, really low. So in total, we've done 20 spotlights and I think it's come out really nice. And I think this looks a lot better than pendants. You can dim it, have it as low or as bright as you want. I think this is a lot better. So that's it for today. I'm gonna to try and make more videos of the work we do. I've got a project coming soon where we've got solar panels to install in our little tower block. So that'll be interesting and I'll catch you next time.